property is when you uh, uh, it's easy to untangle. What? I'm still tangled. Yeah, let me untangle it. I want to get a straight loop of upper tuning first. This is unknotted now. Okay. It has it, it has a property group. As soon as you when you uh, when you join the two ends together and you form a loop, I think you really have to solder them together so they so they're definitely fast anyway. When you form a loop with it, it creates a kind of singularity in the universe. It rips the fabric of the universe apart. And what happens is that um, it, it creates a kind of two twofold branching of the universe around the loop. And, and the effect is as you if I if you stood and kept this loop <coughs> long enough then what you'd see through the loop it would sort of gradually drift away from what what would be there otherwise and you'd start to see a kind of different world. And, you know, maybe this blackboard, what you see behind the loop, it would be replaced by a whiteboard probably, you know, it's more modern technology. Some of the stinky you know, you could, anyway, it creates a sort of two way world. Just imagine. It. There's some science fiction stories you might have read that are like this. Um, so, so now you can you step through the loop. You're into this different world. And here, you're going to have a whiteboard. If I go over here, you couldn't really see me because I'm in a different world from you. You could come through, too, and you, you'd be here, too. And I could peek through and see you. <laughs> and then, then I, I go around again. This is only ca causing a two-way branching for you. So I go around again, I look through, and now through the loop, I see the blackboard rather than the whiteboard. I step back. And I'm, now I'm in the world room with the blackboard. Here we are. So, so this, somehow with this loop, you can imagine, you can imagine causing a kind of two-way branching of the universe. Okay, now what happens when you tie the, this magical um, tubing into a knot? I'll, I'll make it into a circle or not. I'll try to make this into a circle or not. Is this, is, this, is this good? Did I get it not? Is it a left-handed or a right-handed? <laughs> <laughs> How do you talk? Yes. Uh, it's good enough? It's not a knot. It's, it's just a twist. Are you sure? Well, is it or not? It's a knot. It's a knot. It's a knot. This is a right-handed triple. Yeah. Each time it twists, each time each of the crossings is twists the same. Okay. I'm gonna. I think I'll dispense with the. I'm gonna put this down and draw diagram. Okay. Try to see what happens. Well, we have a thing. Now, now we, you look through the knot, and as soon as it's formed into a loop, these worlds start to drift apart. You look through it, and, and really what happens with this knot is you're going to see four different views. It's like four windows to other worlds. Because there's no reason that when you go through this loop of the knot, it has to be the same as going through this loop of the knot. So, Perhaps. So let, let me label them. Let's call this going through here, let's call that A. Going through here, let's call it B. And this this will still have the if I go through A, go through A again, I get back to where I was before. Because it's just it's just branching, just a twofold branching around and on. If I go through B, and go through B again, I get back to where I was. Uh, and it doesn't matter which way I go through A or which way I go through B. So if I go through A, I get this A, this other world. But if I can label what, what happens when I get here and what happens when I get here. But it's, in fact, redundant. Because if I go through A and now, and now go through B, that's really equivalent to going through this middle region. Um, let me demonstrate, actually, with the row. Can you visualize this in your head? Could, couldn't you just move the, the lower portion of the knot up and have A and B be the same? You could move them around you know, and have, have them overlap. I mean, the thing is, there are many ways to draw the knot. 
it gets confusing if you try to think of all ways to draw the knot. Though. When you say go through, do you mean like you were stepping through before? Or? Yes, yes. Uh, so when you say step through B or go through B, I'm not sure if you're coming yeah. back because you went through A first. Are you coming back this way? Yeah, come, come up and help hold this <laughs> thing so that it'll, okay. Let's, let's try it. So the one at the bottom is A, yeah. Whoops, okay. Which way are we doing? Yeah, that's no, no, I, it's like, like it was before. Okay. Now, if I, I claim that if I, if I go through here, well, oh, okay, black. I want to do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go through A and then through B. So here, I'll go through A, and now I'll go through B, and it's the same as going through both. Okay. I'm going to go through A. Come clear around to, to this side, and then go through B, and, then, and it's the same as going through the middle. Uh, it's too low to see. Shall we do it again? Um, you can even do it with your hand, I think. You go through A, through B, and it's like that. So, so you couldn't, it, it has to arrive at the same place because, you know, I, I, I could think of, you know, taking a path like this way, this way, or I could changing the way I go to what's like so. If I have a so sort of move one path to the other, and it has to give the same arrive at the same place.